we the Catholic bishops are grateful to God and to all Kenyans for holding peace before, during, and after the presidential election result had been announced. We do not take peace for granted. Kenyans have invested in maintaining this peace through good neighborliness, tolerance, seeking to understand rather than be understood, and above all, through prayer. We thank you, Kenyans, for prayer. We continue to seek the grace of God to help us peacefully close this election chapter. We are also grateful to those who have graciously embraced the spirit of the law and opted to go to court to seek justice in cases where the outcome is disputed. Our peace message throughout the campaign included inviting all parties seeking elected seats to turn to courts for fair hearing of disputed outcome. We pray and hope that the courts will show respect to those who have filed petitions by judiciously listening to the cases and making verdicts that are just to the parties involved. Secondly, about the Supreme Court ruling. Dear Kenyans, as we all know, the presidential election result is disputed and now being handled at the Supreme Court level. We, the title bishops, wish to thank the petitioners for recognizing and laying faith in our Supreme Court. The act of going to court strengthens belief in our institutions to solve cases. We assure the Supreme Court of our prayers for wisdom in its judgment. The judges have the privilege of arbitrating between the two parties contesting the presidential outcome. The Supreme Court is not only handling our case, but also setting an example to all judicial systems, to all courts in Kenya. We therefore realize the important role the Supreme Court is playing and executing for and on behalf of Kenyans. We ask all Kenyans to pray for the judges in the Supreme Court for health of mind and body and for wisdom as they work towards delivering their ruling. We would like to categorically uh, uh, state that the Supreme Court, like any other public institutions, has a code of conduct guiding its actions. Kenyans are looking up to it for both peace and justice. Just as we have asked all institutions, including the presidency, to always put the interests of Kenyans before any other interest, we ask the Supreme Court to walk the same path of justice, justice for the parties. The ruling should reflect the wish of Kenyans as stipulated in our Constitution. Lastly, to the people of Kakamega, tomorrow we have the opportunity to go and elect our governor. You are all aware that the governor is the leader of the county, the devolved unit. And without him and his team, then we may not realize much in the county. It's therefore incumbent upon us all, the voters of Kakamega and Mombasa for that matter, to turn up in large numbers and go and elect their governor. And therefore, for the counties of Kakamega and Mombasa, we appeal to you to go out and vote. The fact that the election results are out of four, five seats we have already voted for should not stop you from exercising your right to vote for the governor of your county. We remind you that our governor has many powers to shape the development of the county. Your vote gives you a right to demand quality service delivery, regardless of who wins. Besides, it gives you the right to participate in your own county development. From the 
from us, therefore, and from the church, and especially from me, the bishop, your shepherd, I urge all people of goodwill who are voters in Kakamega tomorrow to go and vote. Don't be discouraged. Probably sometimes the what has happened may discourage members to go and vote, but I encourage you. That is your duty. That is your obligation. It's an obligation incumbent upon us in our county. Wa Christ wote, wapigaji kura wote, waende wakapige kura kesho ili waweze kuchagua yule ambaye wanamtaka awe governor wao. God bless you all. God bless Kenya.